but this metal could be hard to get at. Much of it was embedded in wooden artifacts, and most of it was hidden inside the king's heavy stone sarcophagus. Evidence from ancient papyrus records reveals that some robbers went to extreme lengths to get their bullion. They torched the tomb. By melting the gold, they would be certain to extract every last ounce of it from the tomb. But in the process, they would be turning works of art to cinders and risked committing the ultimate sacrilege, destroying the king's body and with it his chances of surviving the afterlife. With so much at stake, any tomb robbers caught would be sure to suffer a gruesome fate. Thebes, 1090 BC. A royal tomb robber has just been apprehended. Ancient court records shed amazing light on how such trials were conducted. The examination was held by beating their hands and their feet with a double rod. The crime was seen as so important that even the pharaoh attended. Records show how one prisoner cracked under torture. Stop, I will tell you. We took the coffin and set fire to it in the tomb, 